Alright, in this one, we are going to be doing my official 5th anniversary top 10 tier list for the part 1 of the celebration. We did get a new batch of units, a good decent amount actually, a very valuable banner. Uh, if you guys are not summoning, what is good with you bro? Summon on Go Freezer, bro. Uh, you guys see the profile pick. I'm a huge fan, man. But um, in all seriousness, uh, we did get a lot of new characters. That does fluctuate my list. And it usually does whether we get a new Ultra or a new LF unit uh, that's going to be add to new meta teams or different builds, setups, compositions, and whatnot. But this is going to be a first impressions tier list. We are a couple days into the fifth anniversary. I've got to use uh, a couple of different teams with a lot of the new characters. The new OLF, Go Frieza, Jiron, uh... The Karis, uh, I don't even know the dude's name. He's not in the top 15, by the way. Um, Shorty, don't know her name. Kawaii, she's arguably, she's in the top 15. Um, but yeah, uh, am I forgetting Jiren? Pretty sure I said Jiren, but uh, yeah, he's cracked as well. But I'm very excited to make the raw list with you guys. I normally don't pre-plan my list either. So everything you guys do see in these videos are all my raw uh, thought processes and team breakdowns. It's not going to be an individual list. It never is. It's based on meta colors team compositions and obviously you're going to add the individuality spec uh aspect to it even if you have broken units if they have no teams what are they going to really do right but there are a ton of top tier teams in the meta right now there's a lot of different units with similar values so it's going to be a very interesting list to make here i mean it's we're not in the a meta anymore where you're only running the top five units top 10 units about top 20 to 25 units are viable even in high rank pvp so um yeah let's just break down the list we have the top 10 we got 11 through 15 i will be doing the honorable mentions as well uh if you guys haven't seen if you want to see like even further in depth what do you what i think of certain units individually check out my previous tier list i made about a week ago it was right before the fifth anniversary started i did a full unit tier list of any usable units in the game so go check that out if you want to just get a foresight before any of these units did release but i do have all the characters right here and um i'm going to say the ultras still do reign supreme in this game no matter what team's out right now um i do believe double ultras are the key components for the best teams in the game whether you're running a actually a triple ultra setup i've seen them work especially if you have them maxed out most of my takes are going to be these units at peak potential 14 stars or even really high stars right but um double triple ultra teams complete powerhouse units i usually run only uh two ultras just to max maximize the ultra ability if you're running three ultras most likely you're not going to be making full use of the ultra abilities so stick with two powerhouse ultras full ultra abilities the abilities and you get a support unit like uh zamasu with the healing pan with damage inflicted zamasu um i said zamasu right I did say Zamasu. Other units like GT17 or you name it, right? Other 1% 1 S 1 SP units. The new Kawaii, this chick right here. But um, we're going to start out with the best unit in the game currently. And I have not said ever, right? I did say on my last list, the four Ultras were interchangeable. And, you know, you could really argue any of the four Ultras, whether it was Hits, whether it was Rosé kid boo and even gogeta blue you can argue them in the top one positioning just because they have really that many diverse team options you can slap two of any of those ultras with a third party support unit or they just have multitude of options and individually individual aspects to make them top tier so ultras are just ridiculous you could literally still kind of argue any of them at number one but i think there is a clear indicator or a clear dude where is boo I do not see Boo anywhere here. I'm just blind. Oh my goodness. Where's Boo? Oh my god. I'm not going to find him. That just fucked up my whole train of thought here, bro. You guys are going to be looking at me when I find Boo. I'm like, bro. Is Boo not here? Where's this pink? I see this Boo. Brev. I see this Boo. Oh, he's right here. Why is he all the way up here? Oh my god. Okay. That was awkward. But um, yeah, the, this is going to be my first time putting this unit in a top one position. Um, he just got the best team in the game. Overall, I do think uh, Universe Rep is finally at a position where we've been buffing this team for two years and they have a composition that 
arguably is the best team in the game. And um, it's going to be Hit. I believe Hit right now is number one unit in the game. Uh, individually, he has the time skip mechanic, which is just a free snipe. If you have him ramped up, built, um, you're popping the ultimate, you're landing it correctly, ult uh, you got high stars. He's going to kill pretty much anyone in the game, um, especially if you're running him on a double ultra support setup. If you're running him on just pure uni rep, if you're running him on pretty much anything, he has just so many different team comps. Or he's going to be outputting very similar damage. He has nice proper Zenkai buffs. Um, you name it, right? Whether you pair him with Rose, whether you pair him with Kid Buu, uh, Gogeta, you throw Pan support, Zamasu support. He's the uh, he's the guy. But like, I'll show you guys the team I was running for Uni Rep. This is a brand new composition here. Do I have it built? I don't know, but this setup right here as well. Anything where you get hit going, I don't think I have the build. This is just full uni rep right here. This kind of works as well, but um, full color wheel, by the way, as well. Hit is really that guy right now, so um, I wouldn't be mad, honestly, if you guys put him two or three. He's definitely not number four, so he's around two, three, one. I'm going to put him at number one now. Um, the reasonings why I didn't place him number one before is just because these two units, or three units specifically, are a lot easier to autopilot and get a lot of things done, whether it's the cover nullification, priority with the uh, Kid Buu green card, uh, Rose also just autopilot, autopilot, blast armor type gameplay. And I still think to this, like, to this moment, that is very true. So very, very close placements. I'm going to place Goku Black at number two. Um, you know, you could run hit with Rose as well. Throw Zamasu as a third party here. And he's just, they're going to be healing. Um, keep in mind, Rose and hit do heal. Kid Buu does heal. Uh, any of these parties, all these ultras are just at a different level of power right now. I think there's, um, people kind of debating. I'm going to go into it in a second here with number four, number five positioning. But Rose is just a demon. Three ultimates, blast armor, paralyzed, that big RNG factor with him where you're never really going to know where a game's going to be headed. Just because paralyzed, right? Paralyzed, you cannot control that factor of the game. He's constantly, you know, it feels like you're feeding him blue cards on most setups anyways, right? He just spawns blue cards, green cards. He's drawing blues. Ridiculous unit, right? He has a lot of team compositions as well. Um, even for, I can't even think of, a, you know, these units not having teams. You just literally throw them on leader slot anywhere and they're gonna fit right strike oriented units um even units like gogeta right strike based unit throw him on a blast setup he's gonna cook third place i'm gonna give it to kid boo i think um they're all very close but it's clear indicator to me can you also run these three units together here but um kid boo fantastic probably an mvp right now very annoying unit to face he's just like the tag fours with the aoe green infinite combos vanish restore aoe ultimates you name it, tons of damage, lots of different team comps. I'm loving this one right now where it's a hybrid setup and you throw Kid Buu on leader. Very toxic build. You're seeing hits a lot more because of Universe Rep. Run the setup that you guys see on my screen right here. It's ridiculous, bro. Kid Buu on support, Beast Gohan to back him up. Uh, Beast Gohan has actually risen up in value as well with the rise of hits with units like Cell. Um, he was always that guy individually, but you know how the meta... Uh, makes units fluctuate depending on teams. Beast has gone all the way, I think a couple of tier lists ago, out of the top 10 for a second because Rose was just so dominant that he could not play. Like, you brought him into a game, Rose was literally in every single game, but uh, right now you're running into Uni Rep, you're running into all the double ultra builds, and let me tell you, there's like four or five different comps with ultra builds where it's um, Hit, Rose, uh, Zamasu, you're running into Hit, Kid Buu, Zamasu, you're running into Hit, Pan, Gogeta, Hit, uh, Road, like, you name it. There's so many double ultra builds, and they all intertwine and have very good setups, Z ability, synergy, support. So, very easy to make a double ultra build. And uh, Kid Buu, you could also leader him on any good new team without double ultras, like Universe Rep, run him on Androids, run him on anything, like, you name it, like the team you see on the screen here. It's just hybrids with Kid Buu on leader slot. So many so many options in the meta right now and i love to see that about this game um i've seen statements about gogeta decreasing out of this field right here just because he has less team options i guess comparative to these guys they have just a bit more with universe rep rise like rising up rose powerful opponents kid Buu, powerful opponents and regen and all this future 
and whatnot. This guy has very similar team comps still. Whether you want to throw him on leader slot pretty much anywhere. You guys seen the team I was running here a second ago. This team is really good. I know yellow units are... Kid Boo, you're running into the new Jiren a lot right now. It's tough. You had the tag switch into the Frieza with the blue. Uh, the blue color. I think that's really nifty that they did that. They didn't give him an inverse color, but an actual separate color. I think Gogeta is not leaving the top five at all. I think he's actually still in the top four. His individual prowess is too prominent to remove him from the top four, in my personal opinion. The, the four ultras are just ahead of all the other units in the game, right? LFs are very close. There's a couple of LFs that are very close, like Beast Gohan, MVP 17, the new tag Go Frieza, maybe even the tag fours and that's the ones that come to mind immediately that can kind of rival ultra but at the same time it's a clear indication that they're like a step under what utility that these do uh the ultras do have but um with universe rep the best team in the game um that's the one argument that i see this guy dropping right there's two very powerful yellows right now where it's jiren and kid boo and the best team composition for Gogeta really is movie still. It has not changed. You're running Beast, Gohan, Pan, and Gogeta. That is the best team for Gogeta right now. Um, and it's not a bad team whatsoever. I just think there's still a lot of different combinations that you can run literally double ultras, right? You can run um, Gogeta, Rose, Pan. You can run Hit, Gogeta, Pan. You can run Kid Buu, Gogeta, Pan. So that's like all the, you know, the support. As soon as Gogeta gets some form of support, you can throw like a... Uh, RR protection unit like not Jiren, um, Go Frieza, like the, the team that you guys saw on the screen here. You name it. There's a lot of team compositions for Gogeta still. I do not think he's moving down to the top five. Just off team still, I wouldn't see it. This guy is sticking top four. He has that type, uh, that type neutrality. He does have constant cover null. He's just spawning blue cards. His ultimate hits like a truck on the proper setup. Maybe even one Zenkai buff, something of the sort. Um, very overlooked right now i think he's just just because he's the um oldest out of these three ultras specifically people are starting to be like yo he's kind of falling off i i personally don't agree and he's very easy to autopilot he actually is one of the most comfortable units for me to use personally in game the auto counter he's a very protected unit and you can rush anybody in the game so he's that one unit where if you have the proper time for rising rush he's killing anybody so um I think they are the top four. Number five, I don't know if you guys will be thrown, but it is the new Go Frieza, in my opinion. They are the glue to Universe Rep, and Jiren is going to be right behind them at number six. Um, that is my top six. Wow. So the two new units have made it into the top tiers. The best units in the game that are not ultra characters. Their just value is undeniable. Uh, Goku Frieza have you like they're a utility monster. I know it is it. They remind me a lot like Trunks and Vegeta in an aspect of um, whatever the Goku side doesn't have, the uh, Frieza side does have, right? So they're not given everything on both sides. Like, Goku side doesn't have Blast Armor, but Frieza side does have Blast Armor. Um, Goku side doesn't have Cover Null. Frieza side does have Cover Null. Goku's green card locks in, sub count manipulation, Frieza side, etc. Right? You're getting cards, you're restoring your Vanish, you have, um, they have heavy hitting blue cards, you name it, right? These, This was the unit to glue Universe Rep together. And uh, it's putting the team on the map. This team right here might be arguably the best team in the game that doesn't have double ultras. That's what I'll say. So um, alongside movies and androids, those are like other two. two Bro, I am. The coffee's hitting right now. So like I am. <laughs> um, I'm just spitting away right now. So don't mind me. Uh, but this might be the best team in the game that isn't a double ultra team. And, uh, yeah. Number, we're going to go to number seven right here. Um, let me just talk talk about Jiren really quickly before I get sidetracked. Uh, Jiren's a menace. He's a tanking god. He's a damage dealing god. He, you can build him strike. You can build him blast oriented. Uh, I don't have a full... I think this is the full universe rep team that I was rocking. But honestly, I do like to have units or teams... Focus primarily either strike or blast oriented. So if I'm running a top three, I'm going to have full strike bench. This is a full color wheel balanced both in the strike and blast aspect. I think it could cook very well. A lot of rush protection with the revival, with the um, endurance that 17 does have, the anti-rush mechanic that Go Frieza does have, and you name it, right? Jiren, heals, 
cover null everything like a top tier unit will be he actually rivals go frieza in value i think i've seen people say this as well they they uh jiren rivals go frieza in value i don't think he's better or um you know higher than go frieza so i do have to put him under i just think go frieza is a little bit more value as an overall unit um you know you're seeing hits a lot more now so jiren is a you know hits a threat to jiren and that's just facts so the tag switch mechanic uh, you can always swap your typing you can always not be at a disadvantage if you can um have priority swap in time etc uh but yeah they have very powerful mechanics go frieza and jiren as well to complement them for the best team in the game at the moment which is universe rep one of right that is not a double ultra setup double ultra builds are just um abominations realistically right leader slot teams um support super buffed builds you sack off pan stuff like that where uh you know she's gonna support and then you just throw her away uh but number seven this is where it gets a little bit funky because this is top meta right here i think there's a couple of more that you can agree top meta i'm gonna throw beast gohan here at seven he's arguably still the most rounded individual uh character in the game uh he's in my opinion the unit that rivals ultras to uh the extent of individuality beast gohan is basically an ultra like but he's an lf right he's like he has everything that you need in the game from constant cover null to type neutrality vanish restore nuke teams equipments you name it right um one thing i didn't mention before i think the one thing that this team universe rep does lack is zenkai buffs so every other team that you're seeing has insane Zenkai buffs that will match up and help with the support, right? So that's why I think even running uh, Go Freezer, Hits, or any of these teams on a pure universe rep build, you are lacking just a bit because the Z abilities are already mixed, as you guys can see on this team, but there's no extra buffs, no extra Zenkai buffs. They do have pure equips, all this good stuff, but you want to focus a top three centric team and you want to work a leader slot where you're either getting support, Zenkai buffs, and uh, Beast does have this. So Beast does have that best movies team, right? The one ultra build in the game where you're running Beast, Ultra, Gogeta Blue, and you're running Pan. So support, nukes, uh, best, one of the best teams still in the game. It's been around for quite a bit since Gogeta Blue dropped. I don't think it's uh, decreased in value all that much. You're seeing hit a lot more. So to have a very strong blue unit is going to be nice. Whether you see Rosé, you're going to have Gogeta. Whether you see... You know, there's a lot of counters to specific units right now, but I think that is my top seven. This is definitely my top seven. Um, moving on to the list here. Cell was pretty high. I don't know if he's going to be in the top 10 anymore, but literally this previous meta, he was top six, seven, whatever that is. Like powerful opponents was cooking. I still third party options right here. Whether you want to run him with Boo, Rose, even hit on a PO future regeneration setup. He is a great third option. I don't think he's in the list anymore, though. He's going to be an honorable mentions for sure. I have to pick these uh, very specific because this list, um, normally it's a mix, and it still is a mix of individuality, uh, team dynamics, all that stuff. But right now, it does feel like a huge individual out, like because all these units have teams. So every unit that you're going to see on this list now has a team, a top meta team. So we're looking at who's the best of these units right now specifically um there's usually not that many um as much units so um we really look at a team perspective what teams are going to mesh well for the top there's so many different teams that compete at the top so we're going to look at pretty much here a lot of these best are just individually right now and they mesh well with some of the best teams with beast undeniably if we're only talking individual he's up here like he's in the top five i think he's above go frieza if we're talking individually that's how good he is, but fortunately, these guys have the better team. Um, they are on boost. A lot of these units are still on boost system. I do include the boost system with these takes because they are part of the meta right now. Um, I'm going to move into the next one. It's probably going to be MVP 17 with universe rep being the way it is with all the utility, the double vanish that this guy has, the damage output, the rush protection, um hit being the best in the game him uh, being a blue unit you want to run go frieza jiren 17 hits literally the best team in the game is universe rep right now like i said that isn't a double ultra build so um 17 is definitely up here i don't think i could put any you could argue that 17 is above beast do i agree with it 
No, I don't. Beast has just gained back. Like, they're very close. Like, these guys are probably neck and neck in value. Um, but I'm going to give the edge to Beast. I want this to be a very specific list. I'm going to just give a little bit more value to him. 17 is right there. I think Beast individually is just a bit better right now. Um, you know, obviously, this guy being the best in the game, he just... The guys that I run into running movies right now, they just take down everything that you need to take down. Support is very critical. Like I said, Universe Reps lacks a little bit of um, Zenkai buff slash support. So they get a little bit to get going, but, um, you know, it do be that way. I think at number... Can we put the tag fours in the top ten anymore? I don't even know. GT's literally their only setup. GT's literally their only build in... Uh, you know, it's still a great team. You know, I didn't even think of G mentioning D GT when I said no ultras, it's just LFs. They don't have an ultra and they're still a top team in the game. But um, they're definitely on the back end of top teams now. Um, Zamasu's going to be up here somewhere. I don't think he's in the top 10 anymore, but he's definitely in the 15. He's just a perfect third party unit for any of the four ultras. Uh, literally, if you're running God Key, if you're running Regeneration, if you're running Future, you're running PO. He literally is a great third party for healing, disruption, endurance, all that good stuff. Um, this chick, she's in the 15, isn't she? Best team in the game. Very solid support utility. She's somewhere up here. I'm going to throw her above these guys because best team in the game. Universe rep. I'm wholeheartedly standing with that information. Um, don't think she's a number 9, number 10. I'm trying to peep who is, though. Is Shallot up here? I don't think Shallot is up here anymore. He's probably in the top... Was he even in the top 15? He's probably in the 20, but I don't think he's in the top 15. Carousel, you're not there. I'm sorry, my boy. I have not seen enough gameplay from you to be there. Um, UI Goku probably being at in the top 10 now, you guys. I don't know how y'all going to take this information, but UI is him, bro. UI is him. He's not worse than this chick. Uh, they're probably very similar values. She does like a whole different thing. Than what he does. He's just a main damage dealer. Utility unit with his gauge. And kind of just more tech skill based. With his mechanics right. She just has a ton of you know damage inflicted. Uh, you know vanish restore. Like immediate vanish restore. Debuffs. Whatever else she does. I'm not really keen on her kit. But I know she does cook. Uh, she's capable of outputting some decent damage. But I'm going to put UI Goku at number 10. Who would I put at number 9? realistically here i'm gonna put the tag fours in the top 15 as well um and maybe mm, this is a tough one i'm looking at the units here these guys are definitely not it oh, i gotta show you guys the what the units i am looking at trunks and vegeta are in the top 20 they're not in the top 15 unfortunately who would be a gt17 is really good but then again he's only really on what androids and gt Androids is a fantastic top tier team. No ultras, no none of that. So it's still subpar to the best teams. And GT is also one of the best, but subpar to the best. Okay, who would get added here, bro? Who would get added here? Oh my god. Am I going to have to bump UI up? Where's Forku? Does Forku belong in the top 10? No, right? Because Hit's number one in the game. He's probably in the top 20, but I don't think Forku's even in the top 15 now. Um, his value, bro. I'm looking at overall value. Um, is Evo? I think these guys are like very good. When you get to this point of um, you know, rating the units in this back end right here, a lot of units are very similar value. So it's very hard to place the top between like the top 10 slash 15 to the 25 units because they're all in a very similar range. Uh, the value from the number one through seven, eight units, that's just a whole different tier of power and then when he gets from nine to the rest of them all very very similar third party units units that help support or either stall qi i think he's number nine i think we move him up to number nine and then number 10 could be who could it be who could number 10 be i am trying to process this zamasu no i can't put zamasu up there is it the fours is it the fours they're, they're really good individually, man. They are really good individually. And I'm probably going to place them here. They are so good individually. I think this might be my top list. I'm trying to think. This might be my top list. Hmm. Who am I missing out? Rose is definitely not in the top 15. 
Um, J I was about to say, am I missing Jiron? No, 17 is really good. Bro, this might be my top list. You guys, let me know what you think. But Shorty's up here. Cell, Zamasu. I'd probably throw Cell above Zamasu and then Evo and Goku 4. Um, yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, you know, yellows are still going to have value. Go Frieza is just half purple, right? Purples are still insane. Gogeta. Every unit has a type counter right now. So whether you're running into the best unit in the game, um, being a yellow unit is kind of crucial or a critical, not crucial, but um, it could be the reverse. You know, you so there are only a couple of strong blue options. We need a blue ultra to dominate. So that's why Beast Gohan so high, 17 so high. But these are the best units in the game. I think Tag 4 is, they're lacking a little bit team, but it's, it's very hard to put them out of the top 10 with how good they are, like individually. That AoE green card, the easy vanish restore, um, cover nullification, nuking. All that stuff. But this is the list, you guys. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section below. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the very next one. There's, like I said, interchangeableness you can have from the 11, 15 through 20 units. Uh, if you want to throw Shallot somewhere up there. If you want to throw Trunks of Vegeta somewhere up there. Rose somewhere up there. They are also very close in value to these back end of the best units. But this is what I'm going with. I'll see you guys in the very next one. Stay frosty. And I'm out.